the dichotomy that still is Darfur. So in the last, I think, two months, 41,000 people displaced. Uh, two medicines on frontier hospitals bombed. Um, a reports of 220 women and girls raped. Um, blocked access to it. And yet we hear about, we read headlines uh, in this recent week about the Hartum Charm Offensive, about uh, UN and the African Union thinking of pulling out peacekeeping troops, and the U.S. lifting some sanctions this week. So right. what's your assessment of well, what's going on? I mean, I, um, more broadly, I think that there is a real failure to cover uh, humanitarian crises. And I think that I, I love this world of journalism, but I think there is a failure there. Uh, Central African Republic, likewise, hasn't been covered. Uh, there may be a famine emerging right now in South Sudan. Likewise, that has dropped off the map. Uh, Syria is getting attention in terms of American hostages, mm -hmm. but uh, three million Syrian refugees uh, in the neighboring countries, or many more displaced at home, have not been. Um, and this troubles me because if these issues are not covered, they will not get addressed. Mm -hmm. And one of the, you know, frankly, one of the things that really um, sort of troubled me the most as a journalist was uh, a few years ago, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation um, uh, essentially uh, uh, bribed ABC News to cover global health and global nutrition. Um, it wasn't called a bribe, it was called a grant. Uh, <laughs> but it, it um, it, it, and this was controversial within the development community because why should Bill and Melinda Gates mm -hmm. be spending scarce resources not to vaccinate kids or supply, supply bed nets, but rather to pay television executives to do their job? And yet, in fact, ABC News did some really terrific coverage of vitamin A deficiency, uh, of micronutrients, of maternal mortality. And so after the grant was over, AB, uh, Gates Foundation went back to ABC and said, we'd like to renew our bribe. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, ABC said, no, we don't want to take the money because we can see that when we run these important stories, that's when our audience falls. That's when people switch the channel to a rival channel that you know, has a Democrat and a Republican yelling at each other. And I find, that, I find that really problematic, that if we can't figure out, we as journalists can't figure out how to tell stories about important issues in a compelling way that will preserve our audiences in a way that will enable us to remain competitive, then these stories just will not be covered, mm -hmm. and then they won't get addressed.